All right, this is Sean Howard back with Seminary Lesson Technology Helps. Often as a Zoom teacher, from time to time, we want to use a PowerPoint to help in our presentation. Now, I wouldn't overuse PowerPoints in Zoom teaching because if that's all you do all the time, it can get really old and just kind of monotonous. And so variety is the spice of teaching. I want to share this resource with you. I have a great colleague that has done a lot of work and what they've done is basically taken every lesson in this teacher manual and created a simple PowerPoint slide with things out of the lesson that you can just take and use. And you can use any part and just arrange it how you want to or change it. Or You have ones for every week. You might have to search a little bit, but like right here is the week of next week, Hebrews 11 and 12. We have all five lessons here. So what you want to do, please, please do not change or use this file. What you need to do is go to the three dots and either download or make a copy. I suggest downloading to a PowerPoint so that you can do the next thing that I'm going to show you in Zoom with the PowerPoint slide sharing. But download that. Please never change anything with this file because that will change it for everybody we're trying to share this with. So make your own copy, download it in your own way, use that file. If I'm on Zoom and I'm going to share my screen for a PowerPoint, but I want myself to be on top of that PowerPoint and part of that PowerPoint, then this is how you do this. You're going to go to share screen. You already need to have your PowerPoint file saved somewhere on your computer. And you need to go to, usually you're here in basic, you need to go right here to advanced. And they have this new feature, PowerPoint as virtual background. If I double click that, then I can choose my PowerPoint that I want to share. And watch what happens. This is really, really cool. See how down here, I am now part of this PowerPoint. I can drag myself all around. I can resize myself. I can drag myself around. My students are simply only seeing the PowerPoint and me. They're not seeing this. This is just for me up top to see students in the class. But you could go through your PowerPoint and right here, you just click to the next one and you could be talking. You can move yourself around if you need to. You could share some context or things on the screen with this PowerPoint. This is for Hebrews chapter 12, verse 9. It's kind of cool. In each of these, they've usually put in a, uh, especially for Dr. Master, they put in a little review real quick for Dr. Mastery scriptures. See if you can go through and, and have the students keep saying the main phrase. And so you could go through this PowerPoint. And again, if you ever need to move yourself or resize yourself, you just simply do it and it'll change it really, really quick. You can be on the screen. You can still be talking to your students that are seeing you instead of just seeing a PowerPoint and hearing a voice. They can see you still teaching on the screen. Very cool opportunity as teachers. The cool thing is you can even, you know, put in something for like a whiteboard effect, like a chart, you know, have students go in here and annotate on the chart and you're still being seen. Really, really cool opportunity. So I encourage you to try this out this week. Go take a look at those PowerPoint helps uh, in the description below and hope you have a wonderful week.